Hello, and welcome to the Slow Looking series at the Irish Museum of Modern Art. My name is Kira, and today we will be looking at the work of Bernard Benet, a French conceptual artist who's best known for his versatility in multiple mediums, including painting, print, sculpture, as well as stage design and musical composition. The title of this work is 217.5 degree arc by 12. Please feel free to close your eyes and take a deep breath before focusing on the screen. Let's start by looking at the shape and structure of the work. Notice how the sculpture incorporates semicircles interlocking with one another. Bernard Vinay has said that he has an interest in concepts like order, disorder, collapse and unpredictability. He is also known for these large-scale minimalist sculptures. Let's focus more on the work by moving our eyes around the sculpture, taking some time, looking from top to bottom, and focusing on details that catch our eye. Next, look from left to right, focusing on the detail of the sculpture. What can you see? If you could run your hand along the surface of the work, what texture and temperature do you imagine feeling? Instead of being installed inside one of our gallery spaces, this work is outdoors, open to the elements. Take a look at how the light hits the sculpture. How does this work sit alongside the bushes and the trees nearby? Consider the shapes and curves of the sculpture. How do you think these shapes compare with the natural shapes of the meadow and the grounds? Now, we will look at the artwork from a different perspective. Again, I ask you to slowly look up and down. Again, look from left to right. What has changed in the artwork from this new perspective? Do you see anything that you did not notice before? Notice the different way the light is hitting the sculpture from this angle. How does this artwork make you feel? What do you think the artist was inspired by when making this work? As a child, the artist saw himself as an average student and was not very interested in academic studies. He recalls this by saying, I remember one day showing a drawing I had just made to my teacher and seeing an expression of surprise and admiration. For the first time, I realized that I could be noticed and appreciated for what I was doing. I was very proud to have found a way to exist in the eyes of my student friends, as well as my teacher. This was a major moment in my life then, because you had to know that I was very disadvantaged during those days. When I was 14, I had my first one-man show at my school, and at the age of 19, just before enrolling in the army, I exhibited about 50 artworks, most of them on large canvas, slightly influenced by Paul Klee. I was lucky enough soon after the army, at the age of 23, to exhibit my work at the Museum of Modern Art in Paris, alongside such artists as Warhol, Rauschenberg, Armand, etc. Quartan steel, or weathering steel, was developed to eliminate the need for painting and form a stable, rust-like appearance after several years' exposure to weather. Why do you think the artist used this material, Quartan steel, to create this piece? Vinay says that his sculptures are about how metal resists. They are a test of strength, a battle between myself and a piece of metal. Does it remind you of anything? The artist created this structure to resemble an arc, part of a circumference of a circle. He has also created similar works influenced by scribbles and lines. This arc is something that we see repeated in many of the artist's work. When you think of the word arc, what comes to mind? Does the shape remind you of anything? When discussing the subjects of his practice, Benet tells us, the main subject of my work is the line. Over the past 40 years, I have developed in paintings, reliefs and sculptures, different possibilities, including straight lines, arcs and indeterminate lines also trying to find original propositions. 
The artist now has a foundation at Le Moy in France where people can view the work by him and his contemporaries. The collection is a bit of a testimony of the life I lived in the art world, in Nice, in Paris, and especially in New York over the course of 50 years. It's a collection of memories, of traces, also a tribute to all these artists' friends. Before finishing up, I would like to encourage you to think about how you might recreate this piece using materials around your own home. Is there anything that you could repurpose to interpret this piece yourself? I would like to thank you for joining us on the Slow Looking series here at IMA and be sure to check out our other videos.